Hello YouTubers, happy Mother's Day and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars custom diecast review. Today we're going to take a look at the Corrosion Seal Piston Cup Racer number 57 alias the Prototype Lightning McQueen. Before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. <clears throat> During the production of Cars, they were going to have Lightning McQueen designed as a generic NASCAR styled stock car resembling either a NASCAR Chevy Monte Carlo or NASCAR Ford Intrepid Taurus or NASCAR Dodge Intrepid it, sponsored by Corrosion Seal and number 57 to commemorate the year that former Pixar director John Lasseter was born but they changed him to a to a generic one-of-a-kind stock car resembling a curvious for Le Mans Ford GT40 with a with the sponsor of Rusty's and a number 95 to commemorate the year that Pixar's first film, Toy Story, was released. But anyhow, in the 2005 teaser trailer as shown on the Incredibles DVD itself, we see a fi the final film design of Lightning McQueen himself driving along a road with Mater. Then, then we get to the scene where it shows a race held at a racetrack at known as Charlotte Spring Speedway when many piston cup racers sharing his body mold racing and battling for the lead and it has a number of sponsors that were made into the final film such as Dynaco as shown on a green stock car number 22 but was replaced with Strip the King Weathers, Vitaline on a racer with a number 52, which the number 52 itself went over to Claude Scruggs, Trunk Fresh as shown on a purple and white racer with a number 65 before it was replaced with Dirksen Diego Stino, and Nitroid, which was shown on a green racer with, with a number 13, which happens to be a prototype Chick Hicks before they redesigned him to resemble a 1987 Buick Regal with a new sponsor, Hostile Takeover Bank, and a number 86 to commemorate the year that Pixar was founded. And they also had a prototype Luigi, which was meant to be the official flag waver for the Piston Cup. Oh, and also the sponsors themselves were from previous Pixar films. And two real life sponsors known as Oreo and Penzoil before they replaced it with gaskets and sidewall shine to avoid copyright issues. And Varun, which was before it was changed to Rev and Go, Misty Motocross's sponsor. Well, anyhow, after a montage of racing and pit stops, racer number 57, along with racer 13, which is the prototype Chick Hicks, were battling for the, the checkered flag and racer number 13, which the rivalry, which is a similar concept rivalry of Lightning McQueen and Chick Hicks, was, were battling for the checkered flag and rape Racer number 13 tried to tap racer number 57 off of the track, but but was overwhelmed by racer number 57. 
and and was also watched by Lightning McQueen and Mater. And it and the and racer number fifty seven was also shown in the deleted scenes of Cars, as shown on the Cars DVD and on the Cars Blu-ray disc, which were named Top Down Truck Stop, Lost, Community Service, Motorama Girls, and Traffic School, where he was voiced by Lightning McQueen's backup voice actor, Keith Ferguson. And... And some people refer to the Corozion Seal number 57 racer as either Joel McQueen or Dustin Miller, or however you people might want to call him. Anyhow, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. Here we have his happy facial expression, his red exterior paintwork, headlights, stickers, and black grill. And on the hood, we've got the Corrosion Seal logo with the yellow background and the words Corrosion Seal and a light blue seal you know, on it and on both sides we've got the black rims on the black wall light year racing tires and the exhaust pipes and the yellow number 57 the gas cap and on the top we've got a another n yellow number 57 no name signature and we've got the red ducktail spoiler and on the back we've got the red taillight stickers And on the undercarriage, it says Disney slash Pixar, made in China, Mattel. Now, please note that I made this, I made the racer, number 57 himself, out of a duplicate Cal Weathers. But anyhow, let's compare him to the final film design of Lightning McQueen. So as you can see here, both are Lightning McQueen, but here are some differences. Corrosion Seal, number 57, generic NASCAR styled stock car. Final film design, Rusty's, number 95, generic handmade one-of-a-kind stock car similar to a Curvius Le Mans 4 GT, but both of them have the ducktail spoiler. Name signature on top, no name signature on top. Both have the exhaust pipes on both sides. Black rims, red rims, lightning bolt, no lightning bolt. Corrosion seal, rusties. 57, no name signature. Number 95, name signature. Lightning bolt, no lightning bolt. S several sponsor logos, no sponsor logos. Rookie stripes, no rookie stripes. And definitely no sponsor there. This one made in China, made in. In Thailand. And that is it. And now let's pull up some of the other cars that share his body mold. We have Cal Weathers, Todd Marcus, Dark San Diego Stino, Darren Lightfoot, Murray Clutchburn, Floyd Mulvihill, Ponchi Wipeout. Ernie Gearson and Terry Cargas, even though he sure, even though he's an ex-Cellophage on EA, like Brick Yardley. 
and the other, other Lightning McQueens in his default designs. Cars 1, Cars 2, Cars 2, Cars 3, my all-time favorite since 2017, and Cars on the Road. And that is it. So, what do you guys think? Which Calweather car similar, car sharing his body mold is your favorite? And which design of Lightning McQueen do you prefer? Concept art? Concept? Concept design? Or final film design? Let me, and do you remember the 2005 Cars teaser trailer as well as the Cars deleted scenes as well? Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below. Oh, and I also forgot to ask, what are you planning for Mother's Day? Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. I would also like to thank everyone for surpassing me 2,200 subscribers today. And I also want to announce that today is the Goodyear 400 of, of the 2024 NASCAR Cup Series season at Darlington Raceway at 3 p.m. on FS1. Thank you so much for watching. Happy Mother's Day. And goodbye now.